Hello and welcome behind the scenes of our latest slow-mo where we saw some mesmerising droplets bouncing on a surface. Yeah, and in case you missed it, here's a little taster for you. Then. So we're here at the University of Bath with a brain far larger than ours, Dr. Kay Takashinas. Um, and Kay, tell us what's going on here. You're basically just sending ripples through the silicon to make a sort of bouncy surface. Are you? That's right, we're vibrating the surface of the silicone oil up and down like that. What's actually going on? Why is it bouncing? Right, 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 right. So normally, when, if you say, for example, you make yourself a, some filter coffee. Regularly. Right? <laughs> and you lift up the filter and it's still dripping. And sometimes you find that the drop lands on the surface of the coffee. And then that sits there for sort of a, a fraction of a second before it coalesces with the surface, right? What's going on there is that the, the droplet is a very smooth surface. It's smooth at the molecular level. And the surface is also smooth at the molecular level. So when you try and, uh, when the droplet and the surface get squashed together, you've got two very flat surfaces with air in between, yeah. right? And the air, needs to flow out from that space. And because it's such a narrow bit of space, it takes quite a long time for the air to flow out. And in this case, you're vibrating the surface up and down like this. Right. So in some ways, you're constantly feeding that space with, with air. That's yeah. right. And how long will it do that for? It will keep doing it. Forever. So <laughs> if there's a piece of dust or something that happens to float its way, then it will kill it. Yeah, but otherwise, it's pretty long lasting. And does that maintain the same height on every bounce? And yes, so, so if, you, if you vibrate the surface at the same height, it will keep going like this. Right. And they're all bouncing in time, even the big ones and the little ones. They are. Well, I suppose this, this kind of illustrates how they can get locked in place because those waveforms sort of interact. That's right, that's right. So the distance between any two droplets is a fixed number of, of wavelengths apart. We'll keep it incredibly informal after that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're going to leave you with some footage of something that you can try at home as well. It's when you try and balance a water droplet on the surface of the water without it coalescing. Yeah, it's an amazing demonstration of water surface tension. Remember to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged. <laughs>